ever tried ever failed no matter try again fail again but fail better oh my god Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to our YouTube channel, which is called the F- the Free Thinkers Society. <laughs> my name is Leander, and my friends call me Lee. Okay, my name is Glenn, and my friends call me Ganna. No clue why they do that. All right, coming back to what we are here for. So the con the name of our show will be the Untitled Show, where we will be speaking on random topics, having candid conversations, and just going with the flow. All right. Uh, so we've kept uh, th- this thing is not very complicated. We've tried to keep it as raw as possible, and we'll explain it to you in a very simple manner. So the first season will have nine episodes, and so so the concept of this topic, I mean, of this show is that uh, you know we'll be having three main topics, and we'll be speaking about three different aspects of those three main topics, and we'll get to nine episodes. I mean, I'm sorry, it must be sounding very complicated right now, but as we go ahead. We'll figure it out. If you're still here, <laughs> we thank you very much. Okay, so we'll be picking up chips, which on which we have written the three topics. We will be picking up any one topic from that chip, and then we will be elaborating more on the different aspects about that. All right, so I think we're good to start. Kya bolta? We're good to go. We're good to go. Let's do this then. Boom. All right. Uh, so we've come to the part where we're going to pick up chits, and then we'll come to a conclusion on what topic we're going to speak about. Okay, so our topic for today will be human behavior. I do not know if you can see that very clearly, but we will be trying and elaborating on the different aspects of it as much as possible. So this is our topic for the day. So now these are the aspects. All right. So the question we're asking today is why so awkward? Interesting. I mean, it's not interesting. I mean, it is interesting, but it's it's kind of interesting. It's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, like with respect to today's topic, mm-hmm. uh, I would like to pose a question to you. Itna formal bandra do. Okay. Let's that's the. Okay. Yeah. 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 But uh, uh, before before we start. Uh, so my idea of a conversation is that uh, it should be like a two-way thing. Like you know, ask a question, take a question, and answer it, and then we you know uh, we like have have a conversation on that topic on on what we you know answered. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a two-way street. Like yeah. Yeah. Correct. Different perspectives of. Correct. So it's balanced. It won't be like you know I'm throwing questions at you or only you are throwing questions at me like that. We keep it balanced. Correct. Yeah. Balanced. I like yeah. the word. Bolo. Okay, so like this brings me to my first question. Like, do you think people make situations unnecessarily awkward? Like, it can be avoided, but it still becomes awkward. Yeah, dude. I I think I think people, I think people get awkward. I mean, it it's just there. I mean, uh, you know, a basic, a very basic. Uh, I'll give a basic uh, scene scenario. Uh, so so like uh, if, if two people are you know they know each other. and both of them know that you know ni- no one from them is uh, is an introvert but you know still still no one will you know say a hi or a hello like you know you maybe turn your face or something and then it gets awkward i don't know that that's like my basic understanding of you know like general awkwardness so yeah people get awkward and you know that can be avoided uh for me i feel you know like if you if you feel like talking to someone and you uh, you know just with polite words try to you know uh, convince them that you're no you you you're not harmful you you harmless <laughs> yeah you know i mean like bitter or okay. toxic kind of a person then and i think anyone will want to talk to you and you know just say hi and uh, hello and you know you can you can have a conversation without getting awkward no. but but it happens a lot of a lot of times it happens <clears throat> what is what is your take on it Like yeah, I I do feel like it does happen. Like sometimes you have different things. Like you can't control the situation. Like sometimes you just go in front and you see somebody suddenly. Correct. Yeah. Like too many I mean, things. Yeah, it gets awkward. But but uh, 
बट द इग्नोरिंग पार्ट ऑफ यू नो ठीक है मैं तो तेको देगा ही नहीं इंसिडेंट दैट इज है So like we were very close like in the primary and all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ha uh, okay. So the thing is that uh, due to some things like we don't talk that much. We used not talk. We do talk. Okay. okay. We just didn't talk that much at that time okay. when the situation was awkward. Okay. So the thing was like we met each other like we were going to play a match and like okay. we met each other like opposing teams mutual friends. वो पहचान दे तेरे को? क्या? Does he know you? Yeah, he does know. वो देखा तो? उट Oh. Like what do I speak? Like how do I approach? Oh. So like we just there. It's a boy, no? Yeah. Then <laughs> no, like you're like what? What do I get? I get. I get. I'm messing with you. I I get it. So so that's like your thing. What is you know your yeah. your your experience with you know unnecessary awkwardness? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it happens. But you know things like these can be avoided. I feel when it comes maybe maybe the opposite gender also. I mean you you just you know you you just get. Awkward, you know. Who you get, you know. Shit, what will, what will, you know. I think, and it's fine. It happens. It's human nature. But I think you should just be upfront and just say a higher or lower. I mean, that reduces the awkwardness. Yeah. It and eventually it goes away. I think this happens like in mutual friends too. A lot yeah, of times, yeah, yeah. maybe like someone comes with their mutual friend and like you know this dude very well. Correct, correct, girl, correct. And like there's the other person, and you're like, okay, now how do I start here? What do I? Correct, do correct, correct. Here? It happens. <clears throat> okay so that brings me to another question okay i'm sh- so okay. sure like people our age or like who have just finished our education like we've got this question a lot mm-hmm. so like my question is has anybody asked you like aapka future kya hai i'm like so sure they've asked you like what's your yeah. take on this thing like doesn't it make it awkward see see my take my take on this is that aapka uh, uh, everyone's been asked this question dude and you know i i see this as to i mean i see it as uh, this this particular question has has two aspects okay there are these people who like seriously don't know what they're going to do okay so they remain silent like oh i don't know let's see you know that that genuine and it's fine it you don't need to know everything yeah, that's, that's, that's. you can figure things out and that is fine but uh, there is this one thing also and maybe i am guilty about it okay uh, that you know what you're going to do but yeah. you just don't want to say Yeah, it kind of it happens. I mean, I don't know for for what reason, for whatever reason, you just don't want to say that you know what you're going to do, even though you know what you're going to do. So it has two things. I mean, it, for me, it's never been that awkward. I I just try and ignore the question, but yeah, it happens. I think many of us have tried to. Do yeah, it it happens. It and it and it's fine. It's fine. So, uh, I had this one thing. Okay, when when we when we picked up the chat on you know this one question came to my mind. Okay. Uh, so I completely understand the difference between uh, shyness and awkwardness. Okay. And I also know that being shy can lead to you know awkwardness. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know there are these certain people who push the shy person to a, a, a you know a notch up, which becomes awkward for that uh, front person. Like almost like a breaking point. No, like no, not like, exactly a breaking point, but a point where he's like, I can't handle this more. Yeah, yeah, and I believe that you know when when it comes to shy people, and I feel that like, you know in a way someone or everyone is shy in you know in in something at least. So you know I feel that you know the shy people need to be given a little bit of space, and then they open up. Yeah. But there are these people who you know continuously they like, hey, chalna baat karna, you know, talk to me and all of that. 
So, so what is your take on it? See, I feel like some people like don't understand this fact. Like different people have different personalities. Uh-huh. So like they just see someone who's like uh, in a party or who's in a group. Mm. He's not talking. He's not that into it. So mm. they just automatically assume that you're not happy. Correct. Either with their company or with the group. I know. Or like you're harboring some different difficult thoughts or like different tension and all of that. Correct, correct. Even you know, actually, I've been guilty about this also. I've been guilty about so many things. <laughs> anyway, but you know, I've been guilty about this. You know, initially, like you know, I was more of a person who you know, I I just go up front and you know, maybe talk and you know, uh, like always on the go kind of a person. I used to be at least. So when I used to be at parties, I used to be like you know, pick up people and dance and all of that. But you know, some people were actually shy. And you know, later I understood that you know, you give them their time. and things will you know never be awkward you know they just need their space to settle down you know with the people around and they'll be fine yeah. that's what i learned from you know that kind of a situation yeah. i think it's basically your upbringing too like what kind of a family or surrounding you had when you were young or correct, correct, like correct. that it depends mostly on that correct hey so okay i had this another interesting question like it may be little similar but i think it can be expanded more okay So, do you think that a lack of clarity plays a big part in situations becoming awkward? As in, like if anything happens, we don't clear stuff up front. Like you say something, but then you don't do it. Okay, like I'll give you an example. Who is my lover? So, another guilt trip. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, you yeah, continue. Okay. okay. Like even <laughs> imagine that like, you said something like in the heat of the moment. Correct. But then afterwards you realize like okay this cannot happen. Mm-hmm. So then I get it. I get it. Afterwards like you you try to avoid the question overall. Like you don't even tell them. Like you just try to avoid the you question. You know, uh, I feel now when it comes to situations like these, I think you should just you know if you you know I understand at times that you know. uh you say things in uh, you know the excitement or the heat of the moment you just you know say something but i feel that you know if when you reflect on what you've said or uh, you've committed to someone or you've promised or you know made a word that you know this will happen in the heat of the moment maybe in excitement uh rather than you know avoiding the question and you know like running away from it or you know dodging it Uh, rather just come up front face it and just say you know shit i i just got too excited and you know i said this yeah it it won't happen so don't rely on me is is that the thing you're talking about yeah so i i feel yeah i mean people should just have you know i mean just be you know uh honest like honest in the sense that you know not not worrying about you know what that other pe- person will feel if you know uh, they've just said something in excitement or something like that you know just clarify it just a little bit of clarity what even you said i mean your question was that only you know that uh, lack of clarity yeah it uh, i mean it creates awkwardness so i mean that's it i mean so that's what if you're clear with whatever you feel and you know if you know that you know it something's not going to happen rather not commit it or you know like uh, give the opposite person a little bit of hope because you know then it comes to expectations Yeah, and then when you have a certain kind of expectation, and then it gets screwed yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. It it is not a good feeling. So that's what it's just about clarity. Yeah, that's it. I think so. Yeah. The assumptions maybe like the assumptions also play sometimes an important role. Yeah, yeah, so totally. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so uh, there's there's this uh, there's this situation. Okay, it's not like a question. It's a situation. So like you, you're asking me more of questions. I I got more situations in mind. Okay. Uh, so this this situation, like just imagine, okay, like there's this one person, mm-hmm. and and it's happened. I've seen it, and maybe sometimes I've been, I've been into it. Uh, where you want to say something or you want to do something, okay. Uh, with with utmost good faith, all right. And uh, and and uh, you make a complete jack out of yourself, and you you know make a fool out of yourself. Uh, but so so do you think that that person loses his self confidence and do you think that person you know stick to that are yaar abhi nahi hoga you know i can't i can't you know lose i can't i can't gain what i've lost by that particular incident where you wanted to do something but you make a fool out of yourself okay so this is more like about failure or something bad happening even though you had something good in mind yeah if i'm getting this correct yeah 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 
See, okay, see, I have a very interesting quote. Okay, here. Quote. Yeah. Quote. Because my literature student. <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay, it's okay. like okay. ever tried, ever failed. No matter. Try again. Fail again. But fail better. Oh my God! I like yeah. that. Fail better. Yeah. So okay. like your uh, focus should always. Yeah, I like that. Point. Fail, fail better. Fail better because. Twitter पे डालेगा मैं. Yes. Because you can always learn from your failures. Like. Mm-hmm. Like what we are taught in school is like failure is bad, but like in real life you get a situation like any awkward situation too. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're a failure. You feel very embarrassed. Correct. But there's always something that you can learn from that situation. Correct. Whether it's your mentality or what you went wrong there, or maybe Correct. it was just miscommunication. Correct. So I hope that answered your question properly. Yeah, yeah. The situation, yeah, it answered my situation. I mean, it answered properly. But you know, there are these people. You know, like they they. they i don't know if they are overthinkers but you know they give a damn about uh, i mean there are these people who give a damn about people's opinions and then which is fine it's okay but then they keep thinking about it and that lowers their confidence after that particular episode but but your quote answers everything okay so it does this is a random question in mind that you know there are these people who get very conscious when they are in public okay So for them that situation is awkward. Yeah, that is. So I like what do you think like why why do people get conscious in public? It I don't know I feel it can be based on their past experience too or maybe the surrounding in which they have grown up. All right. Like if someone has grown up in like a very secluded surrounding correct with not too many people around him. So mm-hmm. of course he wouldn't be like It wouldn't be easy for him to just go and meet a lot of people. Correct. Whereas, like, there are some people who have grown up in that surrounding where all their family members are super chill, like they've got the vibe, like they're mm-hmm. the heart of the party. Correct. Correct. So it's not tough for them because they've grown up with all of that in the background. Like, okay. Some people have to get used to it. So it's all about experiences. I feel like, like we are all a product of our surroundings. I feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My friend told me, "Flavio, Flavio, this is what I'll be quoting him again." He, he was saying, "I was saying that he, even, even your, I mean, I don't know from where he heard it or it's his quote, <laughs> but uh, but he had once told me that you know all all your, I mean, your success is your success or your failure depends on your past." Yeah, like that is there, but you can't keep living in your past. Correct, correct. What I feel, like correct, you got to move on from it. Correct. That's why I think completely. Or okay, so. <clears throat> Basically, now that we've had all of this conversation, so I would like you to highlight like one awkward childhood any situation that you may have come across. Childhood situation, बोलो. Like, I mean, like your friend, like you met someone who you knew a long time ago, like he was very close to you, but you met him after a long time, maybe okay. on the road or anywhere. Okay. No, I mean, see, no, I mean, even even you spoke about you know your childhood bird yeah. who doesn't talk to you anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but but uh, but no, I mean. uh with me that case is completely different i mean i have a few uh, childhood friends uh like i'm not talking about school i mean school is fine i mean for me school people are like if they meet and like hi hello how are you how are you doing and all of that 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 like normal conversations happen uh, and the friends that i am with right now are all college friends and a few of my childhood friends who i've grown up with uh but but the like the like the childhood friends who you are talking about are i mean they i mean i like keeping a very chill kind of you know uh talk with them yeah. like if like if i meet them also like if i meet them or maybe talk to them on social media or something like that it's it's i i i like keeping it chill because you know i believe like you know if if you make these kind of people awkward i mean these are the memories that you're going to have when you i mean grow up later Yeah, so you have things to talk about and you'll cherish them i mean maybe maybe a 5 minute but that feeling is 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 a very nice feeling i mean according to me so so i like keeping it good with all my you know childhood friends it's, it i mean i mean when i talk to them now also i mean those those childhood memories and all they come back okay so so yeah i like i like talking to them it's nothing is awkward at least with me i mean with a lot of people okay, it gets awkward but i'm in i i try balancing it well Okay, that's that's really good thing. Yeah. So on a lighter note, okay, like like now now after what all we spoken about, uh, do you think that you know now if you know two people including us or with someone else, do you think we'll be able to say hi hello <laughs> <laughs> on on the roads or something like that? Like what do you think? I, I mean, once people realize it that it's not so awkward to make things awkward, do you think uh, 
people will you know including you and me after speaking about this do you think we'll you know just chill out a bit and you say hi what's up how are you doing i mean you can try our best yeah we'll try actually we'll try that right? yeah what were you pushing about i mean like okay. so so actually the same question like what is your take away from this like our entire conversation like anything that you liked or like really touched you or like whatever it touched you touched, touched you no yeah. yeah. but i'm not going to retreat <laughs> but <laughs> i'm joking but yeah uh uh you know i made i mean after what after listening to you and after you listening to me and whatever happened right now after this talk i i really feel that you know uh, things are actually very simple yeah things are actually very simple and you know people kind of complicate it unintentionally sometimes you can't blame anyone for anything because it's it's how they are and uh, you know making situations awkward or not realizing things it's it's fine because once you self introspect i think things things get fine then even when it comes to this awkwardness okay. so the thing that i the lighter question that i asked you about Lighting saying hi show. hello you know that also i mean once once people introspect are why am i not saying hi what's the big deal you know and then you say hi and then uh, maybe about the clarity that we spoke okay. i rather just tell that person that it's not happening than creating ruckus later yeah but don't you also think like if i tell some like some people have this notion right like if i just tell him on the face that this is not going to happen hmm. then he'll be like next time you won't speak to me well or he'll have Obviously, that feeling then that then that is the way it depends no i mean that that's how you would want to tell that was it ar ne hoga chal abhi chod abhi don't need my head you, you can't say that i mean i'm i'm really sorry it won't be able to happen this time so, you know being a little you know just polite i think you, i mean what i what example again i think it's just about being polite and just being honest to yourself man i think i think the awkwardness is i think never yeah, going to yeah. like the big thing that's it i i think we spoke quite a bit dude we spoke for i don't know for how long did we speak for for around 20 minutes damn dude i thought we upon 5 10 minute mein rap karenge ha na but i i didn't even realize you know that we were shooting or something like that it was exactly. it was a good good talk like very candid and yeah what do you think about it what do you think about um, what do you think about it i'm like this is good like we should do this again someday you know <laughs> <laughs> we got nine episodes to shoot <laughs> so we have to do it again anyway uh, so i'm i'm looking forward to it uh, so anyway nice talking to you today whenever we shoot next <laughs> all right then thank you so much guys for watching till the end and also feel free to comment down below if you all have any topics in your mind that you would want us to talk about which you guys relate to we we do that okay. and if you love this video please like and share it with friends and family that will get us really motivated to put out more content all right and and i always wanted to say this subscribe to our youtube channel because i mean for whatever reasons you know it's just the trend and you know i mean we'll get subscribers and then we'll get even more motivated to do things so so yeah subscribe to our youtube channel and also we'll be mentioning our uh, twitter handles and insta handles maybe in the description or on top or somewhere uh, so go follow and also one thing uh, i i want to thank uh, my dear friend flavio who's helped us uh, shoot this video he's obviously behind the camera <laughs> so and also he has uh, he and his friends they have a youtube channel which they've established uh, i think more than a year ago and their content is all about sports and it's called sidelined tv if you all want to go if, if you all are interested in sports go check it out and also follow subscribe and like their share their videos and all of that and until next time hasta la vista